Excuse me. Mm. Should have took a nap today, but whatever. Um, so this is Strawberry Full Moon for Aquarius. Um, this is part of a twin moon, which is going to also happen in July in the same sign as um, Capricorn. Alright, this first moon is going to happen June 21st this week at 9.08 p.m. So, fun. And it's going to bring with it perception, self-care, manifesting, luck, prosperity, and some other things that you might have not been prepared for. Okay, we have forest, muddled, or unclear thinking. We have dog, far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. We have a bat, we have take care, enemies are working against you. We have stork, we have news of a birth or a new business opportunity. We have a tankard, we have celebration, fun, and enjoyment. We have a chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. We have a quill. Get back to basics. We have a kangaroo. Unsettling times. Need to plan ahead. Okay. So, first question is how can you expand your ambitions? We have major purchases or projecting an image or projecting a new image. Um, you could be changing who you are as a person, how the outside world sees you. Or just, you're, you're looking for something different. <laughs> you may be wanting to attract a different type of person, too. Okay. <sighs> I should have took a nap today. Mm, I'm exhausted. You might be exhausted, too. Um, so what have you achieved so far? We have psychic and we have um, swept up. Um... You might know a psychic, you might be a psychic, you might actually do some of these tarot card readings yourself. But also, somebody else that is a psychic could actually have you hoodwinked on how they predict things. Like, my technique of reading cards um, amuses a lot of people because some people get how I read cards and other people don't, um, like, this is all fine and dandy, but, um, yeah, there's more to it than that, and people that understand how I channel and read cards get what exactly my formula is for reading cards, and if you don't, you can be enchanted by it, it's almost like a magic trick, um, but it gets my point across, okay, so, what realities must you face? Um, a relationship for the wrong reasons. Um, intense vibes with somebody else. You might be in a relationship for like business reasons or because it's comfortable or because it's easy. And there's not really too much of an expectation for like you to perform well or to be good at something. It's just a very calm and easy relationship. It's almost like your partner is kind of just allowing things to happen as they will. Um, not really giving too much to re the relationship and it kind of stays in the midsection of, of comparable, you know. You might actually at times feel like you, you're, you're getting cut short or something else. But for now, it may be working for you. Mm. But you also might be placing comparison to some of your other relationships. Which could, um, you know, just kind of keep your relationship at like a level of normal. Where like they don't want to fly off the handle or be crazy or anything. Um... In your relationship, you're allowed to be a little bit, like, crazy, I guess. 
um, in order just to see where the like boundaries are in your relationship um, like whether you should isolate yourself when you do have an overreaction or something and some people you know they have that as a trigger or as a boundary for a reason um, but I feel like it's, it stays at a mid-level there's not too much energy put into the relationship that makes it develop differently or um, evolve over time. It just kind of stays the same. Which is fine for some people, but for your situation... You might want something that's a little bit more than the normal. Okay, so what restricts you? We have new love great sex but elsewhere there is something amiss so there could just be a physical attraction or your relationship could just be a physical attraction but mentally you don't click emotionally you don't click and spiritually you don't click like if there was a problem um, you would not call this person that you're having sex with for obvious reasons because you think that they're too aloof or they don't handle things with like the urgency that you need them to um, but it's because the relationship never got to that point of important levels of certainty maybe and that might be something that you need to change about your own personality about how important it is to um, you that they meet for certain people in your family or that they know kind of where you where and how you grew up and know everything about you basically and I don't think you're the you're the type of person that likes to share too much and that could be a problem um, meaning that you don't get close to people you kind of keep them at like a mid-level of normalcy <sighs> based on your needs at the moment or what you need them to be in that moment which can't do that with people they'll leave but you know you'll find that out soon enough um anyway you kind of have to have a particular type of knowledge of what you want in a relationship or it will keep you restricted to what you know and what you don't know um and you always feel like it's not what you want it to be in certain cases okay Anyway, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Enjoy the moon while it lasts. I know it's going to be lovely. It's the, it's the midway section. So in the next um, part of the year, it should resolve itself. Um, probably not in the way you expect it. It could be very interesting how certain uh, problems or things that are on your mind are resolved in the next part of the year. Especially with the twin moon coming up, which is in uh, Capricorn as well. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Take care of yourselves, alright? Later.